Did I get very angry or was I not too bad? No, you're all right. So not knowing Ty is probably a good thing for me because uh, this way I don't, I don't get upset. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, you don't have to really worry about it. And, they can and talk whatever they want about me. No, and you've got a good care. wife. I mean, anything going on, she'll tell you. Yeah. Anything you need to know, yeah. Noi will, Noi will clue. Now, does that happen? Say, for example, there's something oh, yeah. going on, Noi will bring something no, here. Noi, Noi will tell me. She says, I don't like this person because they, they don't talk good about you. You know? mm, mm, mm. Okay, so that's something for guys there, well, viewers of the channel can kind of know to look for then. Your lady should be doing that kind of thing for you. Uh, so if you don't speak Thai or you haven't learned a whole lot at, at, at that point, your wife from time to time, you, you might reasonably expect mm. it once in a while. They'll go, hey, we're not going here. We're not doing that. It really happens, but um, when someone ever says something, Noi always tells me. You know? uh, most people that Noi is friends with, with are easygoing people. Yeah. yeah. They're probably happy for Noi. But, but yeah. you You'll always get one person that's jealous or something. Yeah. You know, they'll say, all say something negative. Fawn is very good about that. There's been a million times, Davo, that Fawn and I have left having dinner with a group of people. And then, and I'm amazed how much Thai I do miss, that I don't speak and I don't understand. I still, at my best, I get half of it. And on my worst, I'm getting 10% of it yeah. sometimes. If they can speak really quick and they'll, do, they'll switch to Thai Kolata course, which is much harder. And, and then, but leaving, Fawn will tell me, Oh, this person's got a new boyfriend, and she doesn't. She, her husband doesn't know, or you know, whatever, yeah. you know, stuff like that. Or these people were were were, were doing this bad thing over there, whatever. But then she'll Fawn will clue me in just so I kind of got the landscape. Because sometimes I don't want to bumble in between two people that are having a problem. Yeah. Or there's a woman that's really on the prowl, that's really looking for a guy, and some of them, you know, as you know, they'll break that rule of of. Uh, there's a rule that Thai women aren't supposed to steal a man from another Thai yeah. woman. And for a, for a foreigner, they'll, they'll, they'll typically break that rule. Yeah. You know, uh, yeah. So it is good to know the lay of the land a little bit. I, I, I kind of like that. We, how do you feel about that? Yeah. So anything big, you just know he just brings it to your attention. Yeah, she, she should come out. I don't even have to ask. We're sitting in a group of Thai people, and they're all speaking Thai. And Noi will always say, oh, we're, what we're talking about is this and this and this. And, you know, so I know what's going on, you know. Now, it took Fawn a while to get to that point. She mm. dragged her feet on that. Now, Fawn's a little younger than Noi. I don't know, and a lot of your social status is by age here, as you know. And I'm wondering if maybe Fawn, being a little younger, didn't feel comfortable, maybe. Um, and, and, and maybe Fawn doesn't stand up for herself, maybe, mm. as well as Noi does. That I don't know. I have no idea how much you know your wife does or not or what she I don't I don't really see her socially that much other than I'm with you or occasionally with Fawn and which isn't that often so I couldn't say but uh, Fawn definitely does not feel too comfortable speaking up too much and it took me just about a year that I've been here to get her to really from time to time do that but no, she does now, mm. and uh, and that's important to me because I don't like sitting there like a dummy, and and I'm and I'm trying to follow the conversation, and and then like I said, depending on what they're talking about, I can follow it, but then sometimes they're talking about something I don't know the vocabulary for. You know, whatever. You know, one time they're saying Wan Nam Kio, Wan Nam Kio, and I'm like, what? There's a there's a city called Wan Nam Kio. <laughs> okay, you know, and it also means perseverance. It's also a famous Thai word that means perseverance, but I hadn't learned that word at that point, and I'm like, what the hell is a Wan Nam Kio? You know, and, and, and it's the place that has the fog. It's, it's, it's got a big uh, uh, lake and beautiful treed mountains, and there's this famous fog that rolls in like pretty much like every oh, nice. single morning. It's very picturesque. It would be a good place for you to visit. And it's got like a lot of those little street side shops and stuff that you and I both yeah. like. And it's, uh, I want to say off the top of my head, 45 minutes from Nansung. It's not that far. Yeah, nice. yeah it's, it's an easy day trip. Oh, yeah, off the top of my head. Yeah, uh, I'm interested in going too. So if you guys, depending yeah. on when you go, fun. And if you go on a weekend, fun. I'll go yeah. with you. I think that's a day trip in and out, same day. Maybe stay one night if we wanted. I don't know, but you guys could work. The Thai ladies will work it out. They'll figure out what's the best way. Where's a good hotel that's near all the shops. They organize everything. Yeah, <laughs> I, I just uh, when I show up at the hotel, I get my card out or my bankroll out, I see. and it, and and Fawn has managed it at a very reasonable cost. Every time I book hotels on Booking.com, I always book it too far away from where we go. <laughs> yeah, they the Thais they just they got it all down to where they know the whole thing, easy peasy. They really do. It is nice. Uh, 
if you get a good lady that you can trust like that, it, it they're such excellent helpers just oh, with yeah. everything. The great organizers. Yeah. Have you ever had anyone care for you as well as Noe? Oh, no, no, no. Yeah. No. yeah. Like I, like I was telling you before, I was sitting down last night doing karaoke and that, and she comes with the clippers and all the dead skin on my fingers, including <laughs> my nails. I said, there's not much nails, the clippers are two or more. <laughs> but she got all the dead skin off. Oh. You got a manicure? <laughs> yeah, she does my toes, <laughs> my toenails. Yeah, when I do my own, because I like to just do my own, yeah. um, and Fun isn't super good at it. She's just, that's like one of the few things she's not really good at. And she, she clips her, her boy's nails too short and then they hurt for a couple yeah. days. And I'm like, I, I, I'm out, I don't need that. Um, but whenever I'm doing it, she'll, she sees me, she'll go, caught Todd, which is apologize. She actually apologizes to me that I'm clipping my own fingernails or something. Yeah, it's <laughs> crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I do love a traditional Thai lady. I wouldn't yeah. be interested at all in a modern lady. No. Uh, yeah, yeah. So yeah, I like okay. traditional. Yeah, it's, uh. And, and, and you're finding that, that uh, your money's going pretty far. You're not really, because a lot of the modern ladies well, will just spend the expat broke and put them in the poorhouse. Louie likes to stay home. She's a ho homely girl. And uh, she's not into, you know, like expensive brands or, you know, she'd rather buy a cheap fake, you know. Yeah, yeah, Fawn won't accept an expensive item of clothing yeah. from me. She'll, yeah. she'll insist I have to take it back. She won't waste money yeah. like that. And I did, I did, I complimented Dave's wife. Um, the last two nights we went out, she wore like something really cute. And, and then it turns out she made it herself. Um, she took an inexpensive item and then modified it and sewed it and re-put it together and made it really cute, really clever. Mm -hmm. I mean, and it looked expensive, I thought. You know, you, I know you yeah. make a good living, something, oh, that's nice, she, you, you probably treated her to something really mm -hmm. posh, and nothing wrong with that, you know, and turns yeah, out she made, she sewed that damn thing herself. She's very creative, uh, ah. especially with craft works and things like that, because, uh, like I was saying, she's got a degree in marketing, so she knows how to make things, and, you know, uh, and she, she teaches people, when she was here in Thailand, she used to teach people how to, how to make things, yeah. Well, it's so nice that, that uh, Fawn and Noi ended up working together at uh, in Nonsoon. Yeah. And that worked out really well. And that's so funny that I'm now doing the same thing you used to do. <laughs> I, I And some people have asked me in the channel, and they did it respectfully. I was not offended uh, if I found it bo find it boring or not. But I, I kind of like a nice, simple, easy routine. Yeah, me too. You know, I, I don't really want to go crazy all the time. And I like to just wake up in the morning and nothing planned and just... Go off the flow, you know. Yeah. Go for coffee or uh, go to the mall. Um, you know, you don't need to plan things here. You sort of the day works out for, for you. It does, doesn't yeah. it? That's a good way. To, that's a. It's yeah. kind of a Even interesting at way. At home, we I, I could sit sit in the yard all day. You know, I can watch the birds fly around. And later on that day, you see all the swallows come out flying, chasing the mosquitoes. Uh, frogs bouncing along the ground. Uh, look at all the the geckos at night walking on the on the on the on the, on the ceiling, on the walls. Uh, the nature here is incredible. Yeah, it, it is. Uh, it is a beautiful, beautiful country. If you're lucky enough, you can see a snake or a scorpion <laughs> coming out of your driveway. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That doesn't happen too often. I, I only had a snake once and a uh, scorpion a couple of times. I had one hiding in a crevice right by one of my shoes I left outside, and in that moment, it, within one second, it occurred to me, that's why our next door neighbor takes her tennis shoes and props them up, toe down, open heel up on the wall, is that no animal, the scorpions won't crawl in to hide in the shoe. Because I'd left my shoes flat on the ground, and I thought she was doing it because it looked prettier, because Ties care a lot about how things look. And it does look prettier, but also a scorpion can't yeah. crawl in it. Yeah. So I learned a lesson very quickly. And thankfully, it wasn't actually in my shoe, just next to it. Just thinking about going in my shoe. Yeah. That and, was fun. Uh, uh, here, the rainy season, I'll tell you something funny. Uh, was the first time I came for the rainy season, we're coming back from Karat, the city, and we just drove into the driveway, and I said to Noi, what's all the cows? I hear this, rrr, rrr. I was deafening. And uh, Noi goes, they're frogs. 
we had thousands of frogs in the backyard. Uh, yeah. And it was loud. It was the the, frogs. All the frogs. It was. I thought it was a herd of cows. They were frogs. Ah, and they were like in sync? Yeah. It was, just, uh, uh, it was really, really loud. And that what's went a, on all night. What's a mating call? Did it did it end up making you guys horny? Or? <laughs> <laughs> I nearly croaked it. <laughs> it gave, uh, gave me the jump, uh, made me jumpy. And um, that was a, it wasn't a very good joke that one, was it? <laughs> well, there we go. We got a good interview with, uh, hey, with enjoyed Debo. It. Enjoyed it, Rob. Yeah. I mean, I really appreciate you taking the time. I'll, I'll edit this up and probably cut it up into... Probably like three three videos, part one, two, three, interview with On The Go of Devo about Thailand, Thai culture, living in Thailand. Yeah, thanks a lot. There we have it, man. Got my pocket knife I traded my boy for before I left. This was uh, a knife he used a lot, and uh, I just helped him feel close to him while we're apart. So I, I traded him a way, way, way more expensive knife for it. And he still, he's, he's, since he's, he's autistic, he's very discerning. He's like, well, why do you want to make a trade? Which is hard to anyways. No. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.